beautiful world. Okay, so listen up, here's the deal. So, uh, there's like so many people freaking out about the Sats Road coming uh, on April 29th. And you know what? I think it's just gonna pass by, we'll be fine. But my mom, you know, she's crazy into conspiracies. She thinks COVID is a cover up for the asteroid hitting. You know, first she thought epilepsy was for mind control for people, and then, then she thought COVID was a cover up for, uh, I don't know, I, I forget even what. Uh, there was some conspiracy, and then now COVID's a cover up for uh, the asteroid. So, we have to go on a road trip. That's what she said, for me to think of it as, as, a, as a road trip. Uh, so that when, in her mind, when the asteroid does hit, uh, that we will be safe away from Lake Ontario, and that, um, that because apparently Toronto is gonna be totally flooded, and uh, so that we're gonna be safe and apparently she's gonna find some place underground where we'll be safe uh, and we have to wait three days until it's safe uh, after the asteroid hits um, because people are gonna be freaking out for three days and you know what I, I just I don't know you know what I'm gonna document the whole thing because you know what if the asteroid doesn't hit, you know, it's gonna be a great movie or whatever, you know. How people go nuts in pandemics or some something like that. Or, you know, if the asteroid does shift its projection and does hit the Earth, then survivors will be able to see the footage uh, if they have a cable to charge the camera, if any electricity still works and they can watch the footage and use it as history as a history lesson so you know you never know okay so I'm just I'm just gonna go along with it first I was like you know it's not gonna hit and I'm like okay mom we'll go on this road trip whatever I, I thought it was gonna last like you know just that one day wait till the thing passes by and then come back and then she's like no 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 no, no. it's gonna be three days okay so uh, then I was like you know what you know what I'm just gonna sit here I, I don't care you know I would rather uh, not survive than try to live in a post-apocalyptic post asteroid world where people are literally freaking out and killing everybody like the walking dead trying to get you know resources for people who barely have anything and killing them be so they can get that stuff like people are nuts already so uh geez now it has to be like three days so I told her that, and she's like, you know, the last thought you're gonna have is that uh, you're gonna, uh, oh, uh, when you're drowning in Lake Ontario is, uh, oh, I should have listened to mom. Okay, so you know what? I read an article. I'm like, yeah, apparently since they first even caught the asteroid in 1987, before they even like labeled it as like, you know, whatever in 1998 then like it was never on NASA's threat list so I'm not worried but you know I figured you know what I'm, I'm just gonna go with her anyway because it's a great way to make a video you know uh, I'll just I'll just document everything well not everything I'm like girl I need some privacy when I poop but <laughs> you know I'll just document it and like then I can be like, I told you so, when it's all over. So, if not, she can be like, I told you so, when we're in the post-asteroid world. So, you know, either way, one of us will be right. <laughs> so, I guess I'll just have to deal with that. Yeah, you'll see this uh, on Tuesday, and uh, right now it's... Saturday. 
So you'll see this on Tuesday and then I guess the next vlog will probably be for when uh, whatever this when it, when it's over or whatever I don't know whatever you never know if there's no internet this is not gonna be on YouTube because nobody's gonna be able to watch YouTube so if this is my last transmission I love you world those of you who are not insane and trying to kill me for my resources in this post uh, asteroid world uh, <laughs> So, um, if you ever meet me in person after the asteroid supposedly hits, then uh, know that I will not try to kill you. I will try to be friends, and I will try to help, and I will try to regrow the world. And I should be the next uh, leader of the world because I will um, make sure that we um, regrow our world uh, to be better and uh, so that we can um, what's the word I'm looking for so so that we can you know reestablish a, a civil society so you know I should be the leader after that so it's just saying you know cuz I'm nice I I can't even be mean in, in a video game um, so, because yeah, it hurts me so much inside. So if I mean, I'll I'll be I'll be mean if somebody if it's a survival thing, like if somebody's trying to kill me, that that's a different story. But it, if you're not doing anything to me, I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna be mean. Okay, so just saying, you know, I'm the new leader of the world. Just saying. I keep saying just saying, but <sighs> who knows? I hope my dogs will survive. I'll need some comfort. Uh... I mean, they can do doggy paddle, right? <laughs> uh, I really hope they survive because I need them to survive just even now to keep my sanity. The dogs are the only thing keeping my sanity right now. I will see you when I see you. Love you guys. <laughs> now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels. My health channel, my comedy channel, and my gaming channel. My health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streams. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.